Hello there, ladies and gentlemen, Sigval here, welcome back to another video. So we get a little bit of a sale here, we get the comic celebration chest, and first of all, don't forget to claim your free gifts. I'm gonna start with that, I think it's somewhere around here. Oh, there we go. And, um, yeah, they, they are giving 50 legendary shards, I mean, uh, those two characters are garbage. And those two are good, and 50 is obviously not enough to unlock them, but hey, they previously gave 20 shards, now they give 50. Who knows, maybe in a couple of years we're gonna get to a guaranteed 3-star legendary, who knows. I mean, it's free, it's 400 gems still, just, just claim it and be, be done with it. It's not the biggest deal, but it's definitely a lot better. Nothing, and look at that, we get some blue beetle shards on the secondary account. That's not bad. It's 50 shards closer to getting Blue Beetle. And hey, if you were in theory gonna open chests to get Blue Beetle and it would be a shard chest, you would get him faster. Now let's take a look at the chests we got here. So first up we got Bloody Rain Duo. So uh, this one is gonna have Robin King and Arkham Knight Batman. Higher chances for Arkham Knight Batman. Okay, look, Arkham Knight Batman is not a bad character, but at the same time, he's not a mandatory character. He can be used with Batman, the Drowning Soul Rates, but he literally does the same thing as John Stewart Green Lantern, which you can get from the League stores. And there's a 2% chance for Robin King, which is not a great chance. This wouldn't be really the chest that you open to get Robin King, but as if this is not a terrible chest. Like, imagine you're a new player, you get Arkham Knight Batman at 3 stars, which is a pretty damn good character for Arena and Champions Arena, and you get his gears from the achievements. That's not the worst thing, but let's keep looking. Uh, next up, we got the Hierarchy of Power duo. This one is gonna have higher chances for Collector and 2% uh, chance for Black Adam. Black Adam is good. Collector is great but you have a challenge for him so unless you're at the point where you have literally piles of gems to throw away to speed up the process of getting collector i always say just take your time farm the challenges you're eventually gonna get there and save up the gems for the characters that don't have challenges but let's move on uh, I w wait until I get through all the chests and then i'll give my recommendation what would be the priority but yeah this one is a no-brainer this is this is trash Bro, 2% chance for Brainiac and then increased chance for Supergirl, like this is garbage. Brainiac's got the challenge, it's not even high chance for him in the first place. And Supergirl is fine, it's, it's pretty good actually with the multiverse team in Arena and Champions or not, but she's got an Arena season, usually it's not that difficult because people are not trying crazy hard to get her. Uh, then we got the uh, Claws of Chaos duo. This is a 2% chance for Raven. Didn't this used to be a higher percent chance for the, the, the Raven though? Maybe I'm tripping, but yeah, the rest is gonna be for Catman. Where's Catman? Doesn't really matter that much. Like, honestly, you do have to have Catman for, like, the... I, I can't even find her. I'm pretty sure it's a 6% or an 8% chance for Catman. But yeah, Catman is a character that you kind of have to have for Arena and uh, Champions Arena and League Invasions, but she's got an Arena seasons. I'm sorry, the cat screaming in the background. I promise I fed him. I played with him. I don't know what's up with him. Yeah, 8% chance for Catwoman. Again, not the worst chance, but you gotta understand that 2% chance for Raven is not the best thing. Bro, shut up. Chill. But yeah, 2% for Raven is not the best thing, and Catwoman... Yeah, I mean, you're not gonna have the gears, probably. So again, not terrible. Not the worst thing could open, but not that great. Um, this is the World Domination Duo. Surprisingly enough, there's a pretty good reason to get this. I mean, again, Grodd does have a challenge, but you need League of Anarchy characters to have a challenge, but you might have a Lord Joker and a Robin in your account, and you can build your Lord Joker as a damage there with Puppet, and you might want to get Grodd, or speed up the process of getting Grodd a bit, and 8% chance is not that bad for that. You could probably open this if you really want the 3-star Grodd, and it's, it's not going to be that bad. Um, next up... Let's see, there's the, there's the celebration level up chest. What is this? I didn't even look at this. Okay, so 5%... Oh, oh, epic artifact reforges. Um, also, this is interesting here. Because, I mean, it's still it's it's still real bad in, in, in another way. Because this is literally gambling. You're putting a sum of gems and you have a chance to get more gems than you put. I don't really like that. But there's a good amount of high tier XP capsules. There's a chance for refund for gems. There's some uh, talents. I mean, if you can't be bothered to play Arena, it's not too bad. If you're playing Arena, it's not that relevant for you. 
those things are not too bad because you don't have a limitless amount of them at least and this is i think the first time i have ever seen uh, the epic artifact reforges actually be put in a chest to an extent but there's also some garbage in here like this is garbage this is garbage and this is garbage because you get a lot of reforges and a lot of the chances eaten by the 10 percent chance that you get for uh the xp capsules and the xp capsules are not the bad those are tier 7 xp capsules you're gonna get 17 of them but they don't know if it's worth 300 gems to get them but at the same time look if you're at the point where you don't have many things you want to get on your account like if you're a new player pretend this just doesn't exist because i don't think it's going to help you that much progress to the game but if you're at the point where there's not that many things you can get with gems or that you want to get with gems hey there's never been artifact reforges the green ones at least in the chest so this doesn't look like the worst chest for players that are already in the end game to, to an extent though now that we get class ascension bro that sucks so much because now that we get i mean class ascension doesn't suck in itself but the amount of shards that are demanded this is a chest that i would love to open but i don't feel like i'm at that point i'd rather spend my gems for shards for mr freeze to class send him for blue beetle to class send him this is a chest this is an amazing chest for people who got maxed out characters in terms of shards that's all i'm gonna say about this but it doesn't look like it's gonna help you out much if you're a new player or intermediate uh and this one is interesting i guess it's gonna be a two uh, zero six chance uh and uh, for every single legendary in the game so it's gonna be a 6.5 percent chance total to get a legendary character and you got the whole the whole squad here also known as let me let me give you a little bit of a rating on the legendaries here real quick we're gonna speed this up this is fine this is fine i guess this is amazing this is good this is fine i guess this is good this is garbage this is fine but really not really needed at the start i mean could be pretty good for me i guess this is good this is garbage this is fine this is garbage um this is not that great this is not that great this is good this is absolute garbage. This is pretty bad because you need a lot to get this thing going. This is amazing. This is great. Uh, this is fine. This is absolutely useless trash. Same as Orm. I know I use more words on Shazam. Like, I'm sorry, my dude. You're better than Orm, at least. This is fine, I guess. This is fine, I guess. This is bad because she's got the challenge. And this is good. It's a very, very mixed bag. So you have the choice here between having a 6.5% chance of getting any of the legendaries, which you can get a good one or a bad one, or you can go to another chest that's here, which is the Robin King Arkham Knight Batman, which is a 7% chance to get something pretty decent overall. Like, Robin King is great, he's fine, I guess pretty decent is the, the, the middle ground we can reach here. Yeah, I don't like those chests that have all the legendary characters. Like, if all of them were good, that would be a different story. But they are not. They are not. There's some garbage in there. There's some huge amounts of garbage in there. Okay, so what do I recommend? This is this is a hard one, though. This is a hard one. Again, this one, if you're maxed out on shards, it's literally going to help out a lot with very end game progression. Unless you're at that point, don't waste your gems on this. Um... This is good if you want to grab a Grod. If you want to grab a Grod for some reason, maybe you don't have League of Arms to farm him. 8% chance is, is pretty good, and he does a lot of things. He can get power generation for Batman Ninja Team, power generation for legendary characters. He can add two negative effects, helping you out to enable Puppet a lot easier. If you don't have a Grod, get yourself a Grod. It's, it's a pretty good chance to get one. Um... This is... I wouldn't really go for this. Like, wait for the Beast Boy plus Raven chest. Because even when it's not on sale, it's it's better than this. Like, I don't really like this that much anymore. Or at least I think I was a bit more positive about this chest, but I don't really like it that much. This is awful. Stay away from this. Uh, this is... Nah, bro. Like, my boy Collector, I love him, but... I want to spend gems on him, and 2% chance for Black Adam ain't gonna redeem this. And uh, the Robin King Arkham Knight Batman is fine, because, like, 
Arkham Knight Batman again is not a mandatory character, but you get the gear from the achievements at least, and does a lot of things for you in arena champions, arena league invasions. It's, it's gonna be pretty good to have around, I guess. So you can get yourself a Grod, and you can try to get yourself an Arkham Knight Batman from here, and maybe drop a Robin King if you're lucky. I mean, it's not the best sale in terms of the chests that we have here, but there, there's two choices. There's two choices, and if none of the, if none of them is for you, that's fine. Don't feel obligated to spend anything because there's gonna be. Oh no! Hold on! Hold on! Hold on! Bro, wait! 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 Let me let me scroll the way here because this looks weird. Oh, there's also a 10% chance to refund. And somebody got mad at me that I didn't mention previously. Okay, this is this is a bad drop, actually. 10 Ethereum is bad for the gems you spend. Um, this is not that great. Again, with the Universe Orb, you should be bothered by getting the shards to so class and characters rather than getting the materials, because you're going to eventually get them just by playing the game. And this, basically, a 10% chance to get the refund means that the chest is basically 10% cheaper, which doesn't make it that much better in my book. Uh, again, this is not the worst chest in the game you could open, I guess. But yeah, let's take a look at the special offers now. Okay, so we... Uh, Got the usual stuff here. We got the orb. Nah, is this gamble bundles? What are they offering here? Okay, 80 shards is enough to unlock a character at least. As far as gold characters go, you're gonna be guaranteed not this is a two-star gold character, you're gonna be guaranteed a three-star gold character with a 20% chance to get Orm. I think all of them are gonna be the same. Like obviously I don't recommend Orm one because he's the worst legendary in the game, but same is gonna be for Beast Boy. Don't gamble. Like, if you want to get this to get a little bit of a boost, I also like, hate this with a random chest to get a random gear for the character. I mean, again, it's better than if it didn't exist. But yeah, if you want, if you're a new player and you want to get a little bit of a boost in the game, you can buy one of these and get some gold characters. But don't expect or don't buy them. I, I mean, it's only one stock, so you can't gamble until you get the character type of deal. Why is this only one stock though? Every single one does not have a stock count. Oh, this is bad. Usually they put the stock on all of them. But in theory, now it allows you to endlessly gamble for all of them, except for Beast Boy for some reason. But yeah, don't gamble, guys. Don't gamble. Uh, anything Anything else? No, not really. But yeah, I don't like those bundles. I don't think they're worth it. Uh, but yeah, we're loving set. Thanks so much for watching. Like it if you liked it. Dislike it if you liked it. And I'll see you all in the next one. Goodbye.